Hello, hello! Uh, it is day number 10 of the new fusion, day number 138 on the free-to-play Mystery Shard only accounts. And it's a pretty good one because I finished the referral program. Oh my god. So happy to have this done. Claim our last fragments here. Oh, what a grind, dude. I can't I've been working on this for months, it feels like, and we're finally done. Um, of course, we're not actually going to pull Chronum yet. We are going to wait for the Champion Chase tournament to start. Let's see, I have him, Drexar, and Jamarsa all ready to go. So that should be about, uh, what, 1250 points? Just straight off the bat. Um, this thing's going to start up in eight hours, nine hours, basically. So maybe uh, maybe tomorrow we'll pull that stuff um, on stream or on recording and then maybe uh, pull a few more shards and see how um, how we're doing with that regard. Have plenty of shards. No worries, worries about that. Oops. Um, yeah, I'm super, super excited to get Cronam. Uh, he's going to be uh, critical for doing... Um, Sand Devil, uh, he can he can do Sand Devil uh, solo, quote unquote. He needs Jamarsa on the team, but he does all the work. She just dies on the first hit. Uh, but that'll work on Sand Devil twenty four. So once we get enough gear, we can take him up and get him to do that for us, which is basically going to get uh, our awakening uh, on all our gear uh, or our ascension. I guess is what they call it. Um, so yeah, that's that's gonna be really nice. Uh, let's see how we're doing on legendary books. I haven't checked this in a while. I have six legendary books, so I'm torn between Cronam first and um, Newt first. I think I'm gonna go with Newt honestly because I think I might not have the gear to get Cronam to farm Sand Devil at high levels anyway. Uh, so yeah, that, I I think we'll get Newt and we'll farm um, Ice or Fire Knight to get the gear so that we can get Chronom to actually sell that content. Uh, that's why I've been working on the Great Hall, though, because I want to get both the accuracy and resistance maxed out, um, which is really important. Actually, I guess uh, Chronom doesn't need resistance, so uh, that one's less important. But um, yeah, just getting all this Great Hall stuff up and rolling so that we can make a bunch of progress on Sand Devil when we get Chronom up and running is critical. Uh, let's check our Soul Merchant. Anything interesting in here? Eh, not really. Um, the other thing we've been working on that I mentioned yesterday is the Fire Knight tournament has opened up. So we've got that right here. I've already made good progress. We're up to 1,100 points so far. And we should be able to finish the rest of it out tonight uh, or tomorrow um, as we use all the energy that we've got. I used a couple of energy refill, or not energy refills, but just like random energy I have in here because I've got all this stuff that's expiring in like four days. And I think I have uh, my weekly energy refills that are expiring, or not expiring, but the weekly is going to reset in three days. So I figured might as well use that right now. So I've just been burning it on um, Fire Knight, but. To be honest, I, I don't need it. Like, just our daily energy is going to be more than enough. It's just that I have to spend it on something. I am key, a cousin, cognizant of the fact that I need to do the... I need to take these guys to level 50 um, right after we get them. So, I do need... Actually, I should check that. I hope I don't... I, I did build some four-star food. Let's see. How many do we have here? How many chickens do we have, first off? I've got two chickens we're gonna need 16 it takes four so we're gonna need no we're gonna need 20 right no 16 we've got four and four yeah okay so we're gonna need 20 oops pieces of food nope we're on free to play we're not buying anything uh we're gonna need 24 star food to burn let's see how many we have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, uh, I guess I should have put a little bit of bruise into these guys during the champ training. That would have made sense because um, we're just going to have them go to waste now. But so be it. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So we've got that taken care of. Um, we'll use up all the resources on that and that'll be good. Uh, but um, 
yeah, I think I think we should be solid on that. The other thing is I need to do today for sure is I need to do a couple of runs on the force keep just so that I can make sure I have enough of the actual the, the tier one pots. I didn't even pay attention to the tier one pots. I'm like, whatever, those are not an issue. And then I realized, oh, crap, it's actually like the lowest level of pots are the ones that I need. I have plenty of the superior and like the these um, tier two pots. Um, we're doing on fine on that, but we need the low level ones. Just a, a handful, to be honest, um, because we need to take... Uh, this rehab up to four star and this one up to four star. So our fully four star ascended. Um, yeah, so I just have to make sure I get that done today, but no problem. If you haven't been paying attention to all the potions you're going to need and you like didn't, um, you didn't plan for that you didn't like already have them good to go you're probably going to want to farm that today because i think this will open up one more time before the fusion actually ends but we are definitely getting down to the wire on um farming the potions for the fusion and the the force ones are ones you need by far the most of right uh, where am i going fusions um yeah you need a ton of these so if you haven't done that yet definitely get on it and pick up a bunch of red force potions today while it's open Okay, other things we have going on. Um, let me... I had some... Where's my appreciation pack? Okay, here we go. Let's claim that. Uh, the other thing we have going on is the Dungeon Divers event. That's going fine. Um, if we look, we've got... I've got to pick up 1,700 more points, and I have a day and a half, like two resets to do it still. So that should be no problem. We'll get that done. Um, I'll probably try and get the six uh, star legendary chaos or if we can, that's a, that's a good reward. So I'll probably just end up farming a bunch of fire knight, honestly, with this extra energy since we have it to burn and it's unlikely we're going to need it for anything in terms of like emergencies for the fusion at this point. And we still have 2,800 gems to burn. Once this fusion's done, everything's settled and I pull newt, I'll probably spend the rest of these gems on, um, space 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 in here so that i can level up a much more three stars for that kind of thing um let's see what else there's one more thing i definitely want to talk to you guys about because this is pretty cool so we'll talk about that now i guess hydra i used my hydra key yesterday and check it out we did 21.6 million damage on hydra I mean, of course, it's normal Hydra, and we only need to do, like, six. But I just, like, pressed auto a couple of times, and I was getting, like, two mil, and then I just pressed auto, and it worked out in the right way to just get through that first, like, that first turn is so hard. I've talked about this before. But once, if Arbiter can survive it and res everyone after the boss, after the Head of Wrath nukes us down, then we're pretty good to go. And then it, it went on for such a long time. I was like, damn, this is nuts. We made 21 million. So Artak did 12.4. Actually, it was interesting to see that Shield Guard did two and a half, which was more than Armager. I thought I would have thought Armager was doing more based on his uh, max HP hits, but I guess because it's normal Hydra, you know, regular damage um, works really well. Uh, as you get higher and higher in Hydra difficulties, they get more defense and they get more health, so max HP starts to work a lot better than just straight up damage dealers. But interesting to see that this is the case, and yeah, that was pretty cool. Happy about that. Um. I might try and bring in, like, Delaja or something next time instead of Shield Guard. But we got through it. It is what it is. Uh, other things we have going on. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, Clan Quest. Yes, we got the Clan Quest done. Uh, we still haven't finished just one increased defenses because we're only getting one of these. Or I guess we're getting three or four increased defenses out per arena fight. Um, but I'm not using my specialized teams to get that done because I'll just get it done when I get it done. Let's go ahead and buy the Akarl Fragments. Uh, perfect, and then we can buy a couple of these. Let's see what we get. Banner Lords, it could be interesting. Demons are dwarves. Dwarves, I'm more interested now that we're getting new and demon spawn. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so that's all well and good. Uh, Soulstone Rush, I think I talked about this yesterday, right? This is already going on. I don't have the resources to try and get this, so I'm just going to hoard until I can get enough to actually get the top rewards. Artifact Enhancement Event. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm debating. I have, like, 9 million silver now, so I'm debating actually tr leveling up some gear to try and get um, this epic Chaos Ore because these are actually pretty nice, these six stars. I like to use them to, like, try and reroll, triple roll speed gear to see if we can get um, some faster speed champions um, or some faster speed gear. Uh, that's the main, th main use for these six star. 
uh, Chaos Ores, in my opinion. Although I will also use it on like a triple roll um, Stone Skin or something like that as well. Um, so yeah, we might we might do that. We've got nine million silver, but I don't want to be too crazy because I want to make sure I have enough for the next fusion. But I think we should be okay. All right, I'm pretty sure that's everything to talk about today. Uh, I think I'm on the last cycle of the Doom Tower. Yeah, uh, so I'll mention that. We're going to finish off the Nether Spider on floor 120 today, which would be great. Uh, I imagine I will have no difficulty beating it since I've already been farming the one on floor 40 hard. Um, this is my main thing. I did substitute out uh, my Broadmaw for a second Armager instead. Um, having Armager is really important for this fight because that's how we actually kill the boss and get it to stay down. Artak has struggles to keep his increased accuracy or his um his HP burn on the boss because his accuracy isn't high enough. This boss has absurd uh, resistance until you put the HP burn up. So if, unless you're stacking accuracy on your HP burner, it can be pretty challenging it to land. But Armager, if the, um, uh, whatever that ability is called, his A2 ability, max HP nuke, kills the boss, lay to rest, then it'll block revive, and then that'll get you the, the win. So that's how I've been farming it so far, and I imagine we'll have no problem getting it done on normal. So we'll get that done, and then I need to look at the secret rooms and all that kind of stuff, but we've got about uh, a little less than two weeks to finish that off. Um, when the Sylvan Watchers Faction War came out... Oh, Sylvan Watchers is open today. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, I guess we can use some of our Lone Blade Reobs <laughs> to get through it in the early stages right now. Uh, I did start to level my Shadow of Turlocks, um, so I will use these guys to get through like at least the first boss and get that down. Um, I think the first boss, I think the boss on the stage 21 is the really hard one. Uh, no, actually, that's the ignore defense one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the first boss on Sylvan Watchers is going to be, so we'll have to see how hard that is, but I imagine Shadowboat Turlock is a pretty good rare champion, actually, so I imagine if I get a couple of him to level 40 and just do the same strategy we've done in the past, we can get something working for that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we'll use our level 40 Lone Blade Reops. They should be able to get us up at least a little bit, and uh, let's actually see what the advanced quest today. Do we have to kill a boss today? Without losing a champion. Okay, so what was the other faction? Dark Elves. So yeah, we should be fine. We can just run. Honestly, I think I can just drop everyone except for um, Spirit Host from this team and just let her let her solo it, basically. Okay, cool. I think that's going to be it. I will see you all in a video tomorrow. Make sure you get your Dungeon Divers done. It is ending soon. Make sure you take care. Well, your Artifact Enhancement event will already be over before you see this video. Um, and make sure you farm your Force Keep potions today uh, if you don't have all the ones you need because you're going to need them for the fusion. All right, I'll see you later. Cheers.